welcome back to the video. Today, I'm going to be giving you a survival world that I've been working on for a long time now. So my good friend, Rosankloff B, and then my other friend, we have all been working on this world. It's pretty cool, so today, I'm going to give you a tour of it, and uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty sick, so make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 100 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. But anyways, guys, let's get right into this. Okay, guys, the house is actually right behind- Oh, I already showed it. Oh, anyways, this is the house. I was going to do a countdown, but I accidentally already showed it. This- is our house it's legit a three-story mansion place so let me give you a tour so if we walk to the front door here so we gotta ring the doorbell amazing we walk through the front door here we got a huge oops we got a huge open area here as you can see like look at this place dang we got a bunch of chests we got a bunch of furnaces this this isn't really organized but it's just here uh we got some chests we got um yeah so down here we have our enchanting room it's not finished yet this world is still work in progress uh so we're kind of going sugarcane so uh that's gotta wait till that to grow but anyways if we go upstairs we have a huge nice window here um yeah i'll show you that later um then we also have two little stations over there they're kind of both on the same sides uh then we got the beds here uh me and his ankle sleep together don't take that out of context thank you but this is our bedroom and uh, if we go upstairs as you can see we have a huge skeleton man and if we go up here, we have a balcony you can see over, which is really cool. This is like a third story kind. It's not really a full sort of third story. It's just kind of a open. And then if you walk this way out of these two doors, we have the roof balcony. And then you can see him here. And then we can walk even farther up to this part. Which technically, we're kind of four stories up right now. That is my other friend's house over there. But um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Now, let me show you guys the mine. That's right. We have... Uh, a basement to this house as you would say but it's not your ordinary basement it doesn't go like 10 blocks on the ground it goes all the way down to diamond level this is our kind of strip mine thing uh, we have our strip mine a storage room a portal room and infinite water source farms and we have a bunch of other furnaces and stuff down here so if we head a little bit down we have the farms down here with a million torches because you got, you got there's a million torches because you got to get your light the, the carrots need to grow so they need some light so this is the farms we do have an infinite water source here and this whole thing is just filled with carrots like we have carrots for days i have only a stack of carrots on me right now <laughs> but we have there's so many carrots so then if we continue down the elevator all the way down to y level 10 you will see that we have a we have a big thing out. We have a big thing going down here. So yeah, so we have the both the water elevators going up and down. We had to travel like a thousand blocks to get those. This is the portal room. I'll show that off later because we have an entire nether base too. Like it's big. Uh, this is my, oh, this is our little Strider pet. We uh we yeah we, we found him in the nether. He's pretty cute. Hey buddy, you want to come here? <laughs> Look how cute he is. Ah, he's so cute. Then strip mines both go all the way down there and they go all the way down here. This strip mine goes like 600 or like 700 blocks that way so i'm not gonna go all the way down there because it's a long path this is our just little chest stuff this is a storage room and we have another infinite water source we got more furnaces uh stone cutter and we have a bunch of chests this is going to be expanded don't worry uh it's just kind of work in progress but we have a ton of you know stuff we we don't have like any order don't judge but um anyways let's go to the portal room this is the portal room we have like light side and dark side and then we have our nether chest you can see there's just a bunch of stone pickaxes and stuff because well um because we we, we don't really want to waste our diamond stuff on that but anyways let's head into the nether okay here we are in the nether we have a pretty big base here this is open because there's uh more land that way to explore but um we have most of the thing blocked off we actually dig the tunnel and it's blocked off but we have windows and doors along the way so we got windows here you can see outside if there's any mobs currently it's on peaceful just for the video so i don't die but if you go at this door there's actually a pathway that goes out that goes all the way down here and this pathway crosses a dangerous path of lava all the way to that pathway that pathway leads to a warp biome and a crimson biome and another fortress but you can pretty much imagine what that looks like so i'm not gonna really waste my time also i'm leaving for my trip in like not that long so i need to rush so I don't have much time to require that. That's why I'm just kind of going faster. If we go down all the way down here, this actually goes uh, to more doors. And this part, it's kind of unexplored. It's still a work in progress. Like, we just made this world not that long ago. Uh, but we have a decent amount of stuff. So if we head all the way down here, this is kind of like a little station area. We have doors going that way. We got doors going this way. And we have doors going this way to a path of lava 
that's eventually going to go that way. But, unfortunately, I don't really know if there's... Oh, hey, Strider. How you doing? Oh my gosh, are you riding a b big Strider? <laughs> what the heck? Anyways, now we gotta head all the way back up. Yeah, because eventually, we haven't done it yet, but we're gonna start a strip mine for Netherite. Because Netherite is, uh, is really the next thing up on the list. Uh, but if you guys actually want me to make a series on this world, I mean, we've already kind of done a lot. But uh, we still need Netherite. We still need to beat the Ender Dragon. We still haven't beat the Dragon yet. So there's still a lot to do in this world. But uh, let's, let's head back to the world. So guys, that's pretty much my house. Uh, we have some stuff over there as well. Uh, which we can actually go there right now, honestly. But yeah, this is our house. Um, this is me and Rizankle. This is our house that we built. Um, I actually built most of the house. But pretty much we both kind of gather resources and stuff. So it was pretty much a team thing. But anyways, if we head over here, this is a community thing. It's, um, this is the Tree of Life. We have grown a tree here with soul torches and stuff. And, well, it's the Tree of Life. And you can't break this tree. It's the Tree of Life. It just supports life. Uh, this is the desert. On the other side, there's a village over there. So it's kind of cool. This is the Wishing Well. So what you do is you can uh, go up to this... Why is there a block there? Pretty much, you can make your sacrifices to the well here. And, you know, you can make your sacrifices to, um, make wishes and... Yeah. So there's two towers here, as you can see. There's one over there, and there's also one over there. Um, these are kind of suicide towers. <laughs> you, might, you might be confused, but we're saying I go build those towers, and he jumped off them and died. Pretty weird. But but they can also be used as markers to where our house is, so that's kind of cool. This is a community campfire. We have a campfire. We got some logs and chairs, I guess, if you to name them, just wooden stairs. But, um, yeah, this is our campfire. And also, oh, we can burn ourselves. If we head through the forest, there's actually a pretty cool thing over here. Uh, we kind of took some of the resources from it, but this, there's actually a ruined nether portal. And this is my friend's house. And my friend hasn't actually been on this world and but then Rosanna will add that, so she, when she comes back, she's gonna see this huge tower. Oh, she got her little doorbell. This house is unfinished. I think she's still working on it, but I um, got a fireplace over here. There's a kitchen over here. Um, pretty cool, but um, yeah, it's pretty unfinished though. Over here, we have a ruined nether portal. Uh, we kind of took some of the crying obsidian, but most of the obsidian is still here. And we also blocked up some of the lava too. But pretty much it's still in the room. Another part. It's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like for more Minecraft. Because I don't really do Minecraft videos that much. So it's kind of just a fun thing to do on it every so often. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. This was pretty much our entire survival world. If you do want more episodes on this, maybe when you beat the dragon, I don't know. Make sure you like. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that. But um, anyways, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my other channel, Mabel 2.0. And I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye. Bye.